you know, I really didn't consider how much space the microcontrollers are going to take up for this. This isn't even all of them. This is just the bare minimum essentials to get going. Hey, how's it going? Hmm. So, I'm mostly done with the lifeboat now, so time to start using it. Today, I added these fins in the back, got rid of the fins in the front, added one single fin on the back for pitch control, and it looks like there's a white spot here. So yeah, I was doing a couple different things. Got a nice little pipe through here. At one point I converted it from fluid jets to a propeller, single propeller. It was a little bit slower and it didn't jump out of the water so much. Not much else has changed. I had to change the fuel tank. So now it's mostly microcontrollers because it was only like 800 liters. So now it's about 2000 or close to 3000. I've got some pivots in here to cause a bit more buoyancy. A little bit glitchy, but I don't know. It just it, it doesn't want to float so well. Or I guess the thing that's really annoying me about that is that Stormworks doesn't do displacement. So even though this is like the side of my boat, down in the bottom of the steer well is underwater if it's not more buoyant. So I've got to lift it up so that it doesn't flood through there. I don't think much else is really different here. I was just doing a bit of logic. I've got a button here for my light switch and it just turns on all the interior lights, including the one up here. I haven't connected up some things because like, you know, can't be bothered. Uh, this mission here I think is causing me lag. I need to get far enough away from this that it'll despawn the boat. But I think I need to sleep. So I want to try and get a mission that's going to be further north out into the ocean so that it leads me away from the boat that's causing the lag. I copied my save file and had a look around and it seemed like whenever I was within range of that boat it just everything went slow. And I don't know why. Other people were even spawned in that boat and didn't have that issue so don't know. Beach buggy evacuate civilians? Civilians? Oh man. Other side of the world. Oil tanker requires servicing. I've done this one before. Oh wow. <laughs> Should I go up there? How long do you think that'll take? For $2,000? Wow. Hey, uh, the same tanker? <laughs> For another $2,000? Why is... I guess it's not really a complicated mission. It's just far away. If I had a helicopter, it'd probably be quite simple. If it's the mast, that's always an issue on that. You could build a specific helicopter that has a welding stick thing coming off it. One casualty. Is it this? Old locomotive? They're all in the desert. Hmm, I don't know why. A fishing boat. And they're all $2,000 missions now? What's going on? Three fishes for $10,000. That's actually quite good, but this is very inland. This is like... Where is that? I don't know if there's a river there. Wow! Ace Master, that's um... That's in the middle of the desert. Three rocks, I know where that is. On fire, blah, 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 tsunami, something, 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 3,000. Maybe I should go and do that, and then at least it'll place me over that area, and then maybe I can do some of these desert missions. Actually, hmm. I'm gonna cut this out. Where is my dog gone, by the way? Where is my border collie gone? Generator trailer. Need switching on. <laughs> At a hospital, you're in wind. Blah, 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 blah. What's this? A fishing trawler radioed for help. 12 people. 
I think this is the mission. Middle of the night, but it's all right. And I've lost my border collie. I've also lost my flashlight and my binoculars. So I don't actually know how much this costs. 80,000. Oh, <laughs> what? Why is this so expensive? I'm going to equip a flashlight and binoculars somewhere into here. Just temporarily. I don't think where I'm putting them right now is a very good spot. Uh, I've got no heater on this boat, but it's a furnace. So I guess it'll be hot enough. Can turn my lights on. I can't turn my lights on. Why can't I turn my lights on? Electricity should be connected to... Uh, oh, nothing's connected to this big battery, that's why. I did have the electricity coming directly off the battery. And it just got really hard to see where those connections were all going. So I ended up going back to the way. Oh no, why is that light on? I really wanted to get as much of this kind of goofing around done before I wanted to play. I'm looking for a spot where I can hide some fluid ports. Because I need to make sure I've got some kind of bilge system. This is just going to be air manifold bilge. That should suck out everything from in here. It's probably not going to be able to suck out anything in this lower section. So I will basically do the same thing on the other side. So if anything somehow gets down below, it'll get sucked out of there. Did I connect this? These aren't connected to anything. I don't want to go over there and then not have my firefighting hoses connected. Should be able to push this button. Light comes on. Uh, there's no pressure though. This light is also on, so I push that button. Why are the pumps not on? That was these two. Oh man. Where I had it all piped in before, I have suddenly decided that that is where I would like my anchors to go. Okay, we have a way to fight the fire. I'm happy. Get in there. Open this door. Even if some water does come in, we get sucked up into there. Turn on our lights on. We've still got a floating seat. Should be able to push. Yeah, so the electronics switch does all the backlights. All the displays should turn on. Like these two here don't have anything on them. Don't get lost up there because that's easy to see. Um, I don't have the locator beacon hooked up in here, but I don't know if this boat even has the locator on it. It will at least give me GPS coordinates, which I have here, probably. I am at about zero, zero. 2,000 litres of fuel should get me there. Reverse probably works. I can't actually remember how reverse works with fluid jets. I think it's you send a number one to both sides of the bucket and I don't have any readout for what temperature my boiler is at and what temperature my furnace is at this oh this throttle was slow I thought I changed this it's at like 10% it won't matter once we're going but it is just a pain that it takes so long to start and stop now it looks pretty calm out there so should be okay. I think I hooked up navigation lights. I did, just not very well. <laughs> so we're off. 
Now this is like steam, no, diesel, this is diesel, steam, and then from the generator off the steam directly into the motors. Ah, so my battery is going to run flat at some point. Very slowly, because it's not charging. Maybe I should go back. Maybe I should go all the way over here, get stuck, and then have to drown myself to go and rescue this boat. Hmm, I'll do that instead. So, we're going, we're basically going east, but not directly east. Let's see how long this takes. Uh, I've got my arctic clothing, thermal clothing, flashlight, binoculars. Defibs. I think we've got all the equipment available. This is why I'm using pivots, because that is the sea, the ocean. I wish Stormworks would do something about displacement, because there shouldn't be any water, you know, being able to come up into here. This is actually a very neat little boat. Got all my equipment. I don't have diving lights on here, which is maybe not so good. No spotlights either. It's pretty jam-packed down here. I don't know how I'm going to build little walkways and platforms and things to navigate. I want to make sure it's easy to get down here to fix stuff, but I don't know if there's really enough space. This is taking forever. Oh no, I'm, am I going the right way? Maybe I need to go more southeast now. I've definitely cleared Sawyer, and I'm out in the ocean. Out here somewhere. Look how much further away it is. I've got... I've used about... I think I had... I don't know how much fuel I had. I think I had 2,900. But it's moved a little bit, so I should be okay for fuel. Mm, this is not good. It's getting a bit bumpy. I spent a lot of time today trying to level out the boat when it gets into bumps. The only way to stop it from doing this is to like, just stop the boat. Although, sometimes this can be a bit quicker because it jumps completely out of the water so it's got no more water resistance, but it's got all the force from the fluid jets as it leaves the water. So if it can get a really big jump off a wave, it can sometimes get you going really quick. It's probably okay. The boat is balanced, so even if it does jump out of the water, it tends to level itself off mid-air. And I'm pretty sure it's still self-writing. I don't know. We'll just cut to when I get closer to the boat. Well, this is what I was hoping to avoid. Ace. We're just flying. Every time it, this thing gets into like mildly windy areas or mildly wavy areas, it just starts launching itself. Nothing it wants to do more than launch itself. I think even stopping and starting or slowing down and starting again doesn't really help because the waves just push it back up. As long as I can get it kind of pointed in the right direction, it's probably okay, but mm, I'm not really sure how to fix this. I don't think just control surfaces and other funny stuff like that is really going to help. I think it's just a small boat that is extremely buoyant, but also extremely heavy. At this point, I should just make a submarine, because a submarine would be less less affected by the wind so i'm over here i guess i can see where that windmill is this wind turbine here 
Oh, I've got so far to go, and if it's going to be jumping out of the water all the time, that's going to suck. This is 45% throttle, and it's starting to hop in and out. It's, it's because it's small, right? So the bigger the waves, the more it gets chucked around. And then because it's buoyant, it floats up very quickly. But because it's heavy, it falls off the top of waves very quickly. It's sort of just a bad combination. I could make it lighter, I guess, if I changed the steam for a modular engine. All that steam stuff must weigh at least... It's probably at least 2,000 mass, just the steam system. Oh, I didn't put any kind of system on to stop water from getting into the air intake for the furnace. The furnace is probably going to die. Also, what the hell is that? That's how close I am to Sawyer still. Uh, it's not going so well. I should have put a purge system on. I think for the air intake on the furnace... It's either going to be fine just having an air manifold in the same pipe or you just put a valve on so you can dump all the water into a, an air manifold. I should be able to go straight east now. It seems like I've gone too far south. Except going south was working out better, like southeast, because I was able to run parallel with the waves. Once I start cutting across them like this, I'll start bouncing out a lot again. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Here it is. Flare. Flare. <laughs> oh no the game is lagging a lot as well which is bad I don't think it's got rid of the mission vehicle that was lagging back in the river and now it's just introduced another big vehicle fire I'm trying to throttle down so stop jumping out of the water do you think I can tow this this is massive is the fire even on the boat or is it oh it's a flare in the water so fire must be on the boat oh come on so because the game is lagging and my throttle is so slow it um just didn't didn't respond in time, I didn't act quick enough. Ah, I can probably repair my boat. This is how it flows. What's well, usually like click 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 click. Yeah. It's... Even if I am able to repair my boat. Is my boat on fire now? Yeah it is, isn't it? How is the fire underwater? Oh my god. Look how slow... Well, there's absolutely no way I'm fixing that. Okay, new plan. I'm going to come up beside it. I'm throttling down now. Just taking forever. I may run this person over. Zero throttle, okay. Um, maybe I'll just leave it like that. We'll grab a rope from somewhere. Rope? These ropes are really difficult to get. Do they have a... <laughs> Come on. Get the winch. There you go. That'll do. And then my hose. 
Was there a ladder somewhere or am I going to have to hop over? Can't even get up onto the ledge here. That's actually very annoying. Is it a dead person? Oh my god. Okay. Fire! I bet it's real far away. Can I... I can't even get through there. Those look like XML windows. How far will the hose reach? Ugh. Where is it? Where is the fire? Oh man, don't tell me it's even further below deck. Here we go. Is that it? This ship is going to sink, isn't it? Alright, fire extinguished. We've got one incapacitated, one following. Come on. You can do it. Get everyone to follow who can. They're probably going to get lost. And we'll just chuck everyone onto my boat. So I've got one, two, three, four, and a fifth one there. Five, six, seven, eight. I think there was like 12 people for this though. Okay, we'll pick them up. Follow, follow, please follow. Thank you. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here, you. Stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm missing four people. That's a lot of people to be missing. One, two. Okay, so two people for sure. What happened to the guy that was following before? There's a person on the water, down the side. This guy doesn't want to follow me. And then we've got one in here who will follow me. And a dead body over there. Okay, so that's everyone accounted for. Did that person... That person did stop following me. Okay. Well, I'm going to put my hose back. Put my rope back. get this person to follow please follow no shenanigans they stopped following him again what okay everybody inside It, you would think I could probably make them follow me, but someone's just going to jump off the boat, aren't they? I'm hoping that the water getting in there right now is not going to be enough to sink us. Oh man, it is a lot of water. I'm going to have to open and close the door every time. Okay, one, two, three, I'm carrying four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, even twelve. Alright, I've got everybody. Oh, and the medical bed does work as a defib. So I don't have to use a charge. I can put someone in the bed, charge them up. We'll try not to use first aids. Alright, let's go. So I just need to go west. 
I would have liked to try towing this boat, but with the lag, I don't think there's much chance. I kind of reckon I could do it though. I wonder if I just swing around in front of it and connect and see what it's like. Oh no. I'm too used to having like a really sensitive throttle. I don't know why I made the throttle so unresponsive. It's terrible. Okay, well, let's try and get a rope on there. I think all the water's drained out, so that's good. Does it means that I can leave that door open if I need to. Can't see these ropes. This is a terrible place to put ropes. Um, so I think I need to get up on that ship first. It'd be nice if there was a rope anchor down really low. Because it's going to try and pull the front down or my ship up. Oh, that's annoying. This uh, sidewall thing is like four blocks high, so you can't really jump onto it unless you're not connected. Will it work? This person's here, so we can swap them out. I was really hoping that the fluid jets would just have so much torque that they would be able to pull this thing. Like, they would be able to pull anything. Uh, no. If that ship can't self right itself, <laughs> it's gonna pull me under. I think I need to disconnect now before I get too carried away. Because this thing takes time to throttle down. I have to be off my boat to disconnect it. I was right about the seats being a pain in the ass. Come on, jump. Yeah, no way. No way that's happening. Mostly because I'm scared it's going to pull me down and I have no way to disconnect that rope from inside. I think it could be a cool feature to have like a remote way to disconnect um, ropes. You could do like, you would have to make a rope to electrical connector adapter. Kind of annoying, but it would work. Having the defer in front of the medical bed is also not very good. Alright, let's try just the boat. West. Go. I don't know if I'll be able to leave it at full throttle, but good thing is we're in the open ocean, so I can just sort of leave it and manage the people, their health. Southwest? No, west. West. Well, I guess I'll see you when I get there, if I get there. Oh no. <laughs> I left the driver's seat when it was jumping <laughs> and I hit the wall too quickly. I'm trying to throttle down, but it's just too slow. Hello? Is this thing on? It's been ages. It's been so long. These people have died and been revived. I'm basically a necromancer at this point. I think the four people on this side, at the front, they haven't died yet. I've been rotating them though, so like once they get fully healed, I move them far away. And then when they're starting to lose health, bring them back closer to the medical bed this is you know a big reason why I don't like far away missions they just take so long I've spent more than two hours on this one mission and like putting out the fire was probably only five minutes worth of hopping around looking for the fire been an hour out an hour back 
crashed the boat. Takes a lot of time. It would be better if they spawned, like, maybe only a couple hundred meters from islands. Like, I don't mind if it seems a little bit unrealistic that they're all spawning in so close. It's better than driving for two hours with nothing else going on. I didn't realize how much money this thing cost either. Look at this. I've got $950. This was so close to maxing me out. We're in the home stretch now. Down here, just come around the corner at the, do you call it a peninsula? We're going north, up to the dock. And then we'll get everyone off and take them over to the fishing village. I've been thinking about stealing the hospital script from the hospital ship. If I can put that on a boat, I think it would completely get rid of all, like, it would get rid of at least half the travel time because I'd be able to rescue people immediately. But then I still have to transport the ship. Hmm. The only real solution is that the developers change the way missions are implemented. I've got to remember that I need to start slowing down quite early as well. So I think I'll go around the other side. And I'll turn on uh, auto anchor on stop and see if that works. Because I haven't tested that. We're slowing down. I want to see how close I can get. But remember that this is a much deeper boat than the rib. So it's going to run aground quicker. I hear the anchors going down, but I don't hear them magnetizing to anything. They could just be going really slowly because of the lag. I think that's what it is. Let's get everyone out. Alright. Let's go. No, oh, please don't stop, come on. Come on, conga line. Slow motion. Wow. Oh wait, we're missing one. I'm not coming back at this slow motion speed. They just keep coming. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it is only one. Follow, 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 follow. Uh, did I get this guy? He doesn't look like he's following. Get in the conga line, buddy. Am I lost? I think I'm lost. Oh my god. Look, we're... The boat is here. I am here. Town is way over there. I need to go this way. Wanna be at someone dies in the forest and I can never find them? Okay, here is a road. I am going to follow the road. Is this the road that goes up to the train tracks? The train tracks are not where I want to go. Oh, I found it. Oh my god. Why is it so slow? Which door do I go in? How many made it? Oh man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Wait a minute. <laughs> Please just, the conga line would just be too long. Oh, I'm going to have to count them all again. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, someone did die in the forest. Are they close? Because if I bring the corpse, I'll get $1,000. I'll never find them. I have no idea where I came from. I'm going back to my boat. It'd be funny if I find the body on my boat somewhere. Okay, 
Little... No, I don't even need to flick that. It'll detach on its own. So I should be going backwards. That's lucky. This took way too long. I am heading over to North Maya because it seems like all the missions are spawning around the desert. And a lot of the fun islands are in between Sawyer and the desert. So if I can just be based out of the desert, I think I'll get more missions and less really far away missions. So I'm just going to zoom over to North Maya. I won't make you watch it. It's going to be slow and boring. But thanks for sticking through it. This one has been a nightmare to deal with. Hopefully when the space DLC comes out, I'll get a new save file. I'll have some more add-ons enabled, so we'll have a place to store the dogs. And I also want to get a helipad. So I'll build that in between now and probably next week. And then we'll have a new save file. Hopefully that'll get rid of all the lag. And we'll be set up to continue on with the career. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.